I'm ready for the employee engagement survey, are you? This is your opportunity to tell us how we can improve your work environment and make Bon Secours a better place to work. So, beginning May 2nd, take a moment and tell us what you think. But remember, your answers will be kept completely confidential. Bon Secours and you, a good match. Take the employee engagement survey. From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Bon Secours, Virginia and Rappahannock General Hospital sign a letter of intent. On April 4, 2011, in a move designed to benefit the community with more comprehensive services, Bon Secours, Virginia Health System and Rappahannock General Hospital signed a letter of intent to move forward with discussions that may ultimately lead to a formal affiliation. According to Rappahannock General Hospital CEO Jim Holmes, the signing of the letter of intent is the first step in what we hope will become a strong clinical affiliation. An affiliation agreement would make it possible for Rappahannock General Hospital to provide expanded services to the community without relinquishing control over services or adjusting operations. When asked about the letter of intent, Bon Secours Virginia Health System CEO Peter Bernard replied, our goal in this process is to work with Rappahannock General in a way that benefits the hospital and the community it serves. We intend to work within the parameters of the current Rappahannock model, providing what services we can to enhance the hospital's offerings in the community. Please join us in support of this worthwhile effort to build healthy communities through shared services and to bring good help to those in need. In other news, the employee engagement survey is just around the corner. By now, every Bon Secours employee should have received their Gallup Q12 Employee Survey 2011 help sheet in the mail. If you have not, please contact your local human resources representative. This year, the survey runs May 2nd through May 15th, and it's really easy to participate. In fact, it involves three easy steps as listed on your help sheet. The first step is to call 1-866-888-6987 from any touch-tone phone 24 hours a day beginning May 2nd anywhere in the U.S. or Canada. Lines close at 11.59 p.m. Central Time on May 15th. Step two is to enter your access code. Now, your access code is on your help sheet, so don't misplace that help sheet. Finally, answer the questions. That's it. Call the number, enter your access code, and answer the questions. You can find out what the questions are by looking on the back of your help sheet. Bon Secours wants to know what you think about your work environment, so if you ever wanted to be heard, now is the time to do it through the Employee Engagement Survey. Oh, and the survey is completely confidential. Look for details on IRIS at your local facility on posters and table tents, or contact your local human resources representative. Bon Secours and you, a good match. Finally, in a press release dated April the 12th, 2011, Bon Secours Virginia, the Richmond Ambulance Authority, and Motorcycle Virginia launched the nation's first rider alert cards for motorcyclists. In a move designed to save the lives of injured motorcyclists, Richmond Ambulance Authority and Bon Secours Virginia Health System, in partnership with Motorcycle Virginia, Inc., launched a new program of rider alert cards for motorcyclists. What are rider alert cards? Well, simply put, rider alert cards are data cards placed inside the helmets of riders that contain vital life-saving information, emergency contact information, and any other important medical history of the rider. The idea is that when first responders arrive on the motorcycle accident scene, a one-inch round sticker on the outside of the helmet will indicate that the biker has a rider alert card on the inside of the helmet. Additionally, the sticker warns bystanders not to remove the helmet 
which could prevent further injury. Of the new program, Bon Secours St. Mary's Hospital CEO Tony Ardebel said, This truly is a program that can provide critical information, allowing first responders to give injured motorcyclists the best possible on-site care before transporting them to our emergency departments. Rider alert cards are modeled after a program called Crash Card, which was developed in the United Kingdom two years ago by the Ambulance Motorcycle Club. You can learn more about the Rider Alert at www.rideralert.org. Bon Secours Virginia, Richmond Ambulance Authority, and Motorcycle Virginia, Inc., working together to help build healthy communities. Well, that's it for this week. Oh, and remember to watch for details on the Employee Engagement Survey coming May 2nd through May 16th. Well, that really is it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.